hi everyone welcome back to the channel my name is joy and i'm your host for this youtube channel guys i know it's been so long since i last did a skincare video but don't worry i'm back to creating self-care video and skincare videos for you guys because we have to glow and look good as children of god okay so today we are going to be talking about how to layer your body care products now we're going to start from shower routine down to moisturizing routine i'm actually going to show you guys practical tips okay i'm going to show you guys the practical example so you don't say you didn't really get it so i'm going to bring the products that i currently use for my shower routine and some products that i use for my moisturizing routine and show you guys how to actually layer your products for effective results so if this is something that interests you please make sure that you watch till the end and do not forget to subscribe share and drop a comment and also like this video if you find it useful for you so guys i have gone to bring the products that we are going to be using for this practical example in order for us to know how to layer our products properly to see results so the first thing that we are going to do is to cleanse with a bar soap now you guys know i'm a big fan of dove i mean if you've been watching me since you know that i love to use this particular dove bar soap okay i use the dove pink i've been using it for years now and i don't think i'll ever stop using this particular one because i absolutely love it okay so you're going to cleanse with your bar soap first now i know some people have body washes already but let me tell you something your, your body wash will not cleanse as much as your bar soap will cleanse okay so it's always important to cleanse First with your bath, so before you go into cleanse with your body wash, please take that from me. I said what I said. Cleanse with your bath soap first before you go in with your body wash. Now, after you're done cleansing, if you're to exfoliate that day, okay, you're going to cleanse first before you're going to use your exfoliating body scrub. Now, I know some people actually use their exfoliating body scrub before they cleanse guys let me tell you something your body scrub has ingredients that your skin needs aside exfoliating dead skin cells it also has certain ingredients that is inside of this that would help your skin so why not just use it on a clean base okay so that you can get the proper ingredients that you need for your skin to be well nourished Okay, because I know some people apply it on very dry skin. That's not the best. I used to make that mistake. I used to use my, my body scrub on my dry skin, which wasn't the best and is still not the best. Your body has to be damp. So that is why it is essential for you to have a first cleanse before you go into using your body scrub. Okay, now when you're done using your body scrub, if you do not have a body wash, it's okay for you to go in with your bath soap again to actually have the last cleanse okay when it comes to exfoliating but if you have a body wash which i would obviously advise you get one is you go in with your body wash okay so guys i use scent eyes guys it's almost like very little you guys can see <laughs> i need to buy a new one but you go in with your body wash after you're done with your exfoliating routine okay if you're not exfoliating for that day what you're going to have to do is go in with your bath soap and then cleanse with this other one after you're done cleansing with your bath soap now one of the things i like about double cleansing guys look at this thing is almost it's almost done by the time you're done cleansing with this one your bath soap and then you're going with this this if it has a good scent it's going to linger on your skin for a long time okay and this will give you the proper base for you to apply your product okay this cleansing with um a body wash after cleansing with your bath soap gives your skin a proper cleanse like you're sure that you're clean okay so these two you pair them and then you make sure that you go with oh my god this this and this okay or this this and this do you get if you don't have a body wash when you're exfoliating you can just cleanse exfoliate and cleanse again but if you have a body wash you're going to actually cleanse exfoliate body wash you get me all right but i'll advise that you actually get a body wash so you don't end up cleansing twice okay so please get a body wash it's actually very good it's essential there are lots of affordable body washes which i'll be recommending soon for you guys to get that are under like 10k 5k 4k you can get a lot of nice body washes okay so it's actually very important for you to double clean for a proper base okay so once you're done double cleansing make sure that your skin is still damp okay guys i'm actually going to show you guys a practical example so i'm going to go ahead and rub water on my skin even though my skin is already moisturized just to show you guys what i what i mean by a damp skin okay 
we need your skin to be damp okay we don't want it to be dried okay when you're coming out of your shower routine to apply your moisturizing products so hold on let me go and apply some water on my skin i'm coming back okay guys so i am back now this is what your skin should look like when it's damp not so wet and not so dried okay now i'm sorry if you're seeing any whitish substance my skin is already moisturized so that's probably my that's obviously my moisturizer showing up okay so you're going to go in with your moisturizer first okay if you have a thick moisturizer the next step i'm going to tell you the kind of product to use if you have a thick moisturizer so now you're going to apply this on your damp skin okay now the reason for this is that so that when your skin is drying down it's also drying down with the product okay and it's sinking into your skin you know you guys can see that now after you're done applying your moisturizer let me close this if your moisturizer is thick you're going to go in with a lightweight body oil now this is hello ads ultra glow oil with squalene, argan oil, rosehip, and vitamin E. This is actually very moisturizing on the skin. And it also helps to like glow the skin. But if you're not using um, a thick moisturizer, you can just go in with your baby oil or any other type of oil that you have, okay? But if you're using a thick moisturizer, you make sure that the oil that you're using is quite lightweight on the skin. So you're now going to go in with this after you're done using your moisturizer. I love the way this product layers on the skin okay so i'm just going to go in and apply the body oil on my skin i know you're going to be asking what's the need for applying body oils now let me tell you something there are ingredients that your body oil has that your moisturizer does not have okay mm -hmm. and now if you want your skin to be gloomy you want your skin to be evened out you want your skin to look good let me tell you Pair your body lotion with a body oil. Take that from me. Catch it, okay? Take that from me. It is definitely going to help you to see quicker results, better results, and a more healthy result. Now, I'm not saying that your moisturizer cannot do that, okay? But it's just essential for you to, you know, spice things up a bit. So, going with your body oil, look at that glow. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? Let me apply it here. So you can see this actually gives proper moisture to your skin now if you're a dry skin girly this is so essential for you please don't just use your body lotions like that and also even if you're not a dry skin girly or you're a normal skin you know still use your body oils after you're done with your moisturizer because this will definitely help to even out your skin it will help to blend your skin and it will help to properly moisturize your skin and i promise you you're going to be seeing the effect okay you're going to be seeing it you're going to come back and thank me try this you will not regret it. now i have a series of oils here i have um guys this oil is so so moisturizing i have this oil i have grapeseed oil i have coconut oil i have a lot of oils i have baby oils also but any oil that you feel like use it actually just use it you don't have to have a lot of oils you can just buy one oil or any baby oil that you you can easily get your hands on or you make your oils at home okay oils actually really help in blending out the skin and they also add like more nourishment to your skin so it is important for you to actually use your body oil so after you're done using your body oil on your skin you're going to have to wait for this to dry down a bit before you go into the last step okay i'm going to wait for this to dry down guys i feel like i've layered so many products already on this particular arm because i moisturized my skin before even starting this video so now you can see that your body my body sorry <laughs> You can see that my body already looks a bit dry, but I'm going to have to wait for a little bit of time before I go in with the next and the last step. Because this last step, it is important that your body is at least a bit dry before you go in with it, okay? So let's just hold on for like two minutes for it to like dry down. Then we're now going with the last step. We need to see results, okay? We need to see results, okay? So let's see. Okay, I think this is... This is dried down a bit and it's okay. So now the last on the list is your sunscreen, okay? 
this is the last on the list your sunscreen now i know that people always think that sunscreen is only for face please your sunscreen is not only for your face ah be cool it's not only for your face use your sunscreen on your body as well now i recommend this because it's actually big in size now what you're going to do is any body part that you're going to be exposing to the sun like now my neck is exposed to the sun my shoulders my arms are exposed to the sun so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply my sunscreen on that body part okay so you're going to apply your sunscreen properly on the body parts that you're going to be exposing to the sun any other body part that you're not exposing to the sun it's okay you don't have to apply your body um your sunscreen on there okay but if you're exposing any body part to the sun please please and please and please and please apply your body sunscreen there now i use this one for my face and i also use it for my body but i know some people don't really like this for their face so you can actually make this a body sunscreen and then you can go ahead and buy any other sunscreen that you like for your face okay i like this because it's quite moisturizing now let me tell you something if you're using a moisturizing um sunscreen like this you might skip this okay but if you're not using a moisturizing sunscreen like this don't skip this but if you're like me that loves to you know spice things up if you're like me that wants to make sure that i get the full effect of every product that i layer on my skin going with this okay don't care it's going to dry down at the end of the day do not see let me tell you something mm? you have to you have to glow you have to glow it doesn't matter if you feel like you're you're feeling greasy that's why i advise to use like a lightweight body oil if you're already using something that is thick like a moisturizer that is thick but notwithstanding me i love to glow i i i absolutely love to glow so please going with this after you're done with the other two steps okay for you to get the maximum effect that you need okay when you protect your skin from the sun okay it would give it enough room for it to be even because your your skin is already being protected so whatever is going to cause hyperpigmentation or darkening your sunscreen would help you to stop that please use your sunscreen don't try to do the other ones and then you now come and tell me oh joy i got darker while i was using these i got hyperpigmentation one side when you're not using your sunscreen mm -mm. don't do that use your sunscreen okay please this is this is like the most important step in order for you to actually get the results that you need okay so guys if you're going to be trying this routine please Tell me in the comment section that you're going to be trying this routine. And I will hold you accountable because after one week, I will come back and I'll message you if you're actually doing that. I'm going to reply to that comment and I'll ask you if you're actually doing that. If you're not doing that, me and you have issues, okay? So guys, thank you so very much for watching. See you guys in another skincare video. Bye. I love you. Mwah.